Benny would say hi, but he's too busy eating. But Molly's gonna say hi. Nate the Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. That's right, the puppy sometimes wanna say hi. It's all good. So I'm gonna be playing with some lights today. Very, very fun stuff, okay? Let me get it here. So it's from a company called InLight, all right? And uh, the website is getinlight.com. I'll have links for that down in the description down below, along with Amazon links, uh, so you can purchase the lights I'm using in this video, plus some of the similar lights. Not only does it help you get the exact items we're using here, but it helps support the channel. So please click on those links, use them up. All right, so we got some small under cabinet lights here, so let's check them out. And almost all the packaging for InLight I've seen is a uh, kind of a green earth packaging, meaning it's basically just all cardboard. They got rid of the styrofoam and the extra plastics and stuff that wasn't needed. Uh, kind of nice. So what we got here is a 12 inch under light kit. I got the ones with six lights. So I got six of these 12 inch little bars. Okay, kind of a nice size. They're not like the real big traditional under cabinet size. I do have some of those, which I'll be getting a video very soon up as well. Have that in the description down below as well, links to that. But this one here is kind of a neat setup. So we've got all those, those sticks. And here, this one here is, is your switch. So you got your on off switch here and you have a dimmer slider. So that's actually one of the really cool things about this kit. A few of the other really nice features about this kit is you see it's got some foam tape back in here. So you can stick that if you want to. Here are little connectors. Okay, if I could get the bag open. So if you want to take two of these sticks and stick them directly together, you can stick one like that and then another one in directly like that. Okay, boom. So you can make like a, a solid stick, basically, uh, with no cords attached and I'm no, like, this is like maybe an inch, okay? And that's all that's adding to it. Or if you wanna separate them a little bit or put one up a wall or one down the way or whatever, they do come with these cords as well, okay? Kind of nice. Now someone's gonna ask me how long the cord is. So let's simply just take a look. From end to end, including the connector, the cord is 14 and a half inches long. Okay. Or if it's just cord, we're talking 12 inches. If you're not counting the connector. Okay, now other things that come in the box. These are little clamps, all right, that will snap on here to mount, okay. And they can either be screwed on with these screws here or you can just stick them on with the double-sided foam tape here. There's 12 pads here, six here, six here. So that's to give you two, two mounts for each light. We have little clamps here with little screws or nails. So it gives you options there for the cord if you need to tie the cords up a little bit, a bunch of those. So really everything you're gonna need. And then this box here will just be our regular AC adapter, okay? with a few feet of cord. Let's take a look, shall we? Because again, I know someone's gonna ask me, how long is that cord? Let's take a look. Okay. It's looking like right about five feet. Now some of you are probably wondering, what's with the two different paint colors? Well, we've painted the area outside of the kitchen and started painting the kitchen. We started painting that, but then we realized we wanna do a tile backsplash. That'll be down the road, another video to come. Okay, eventually, eventually, okay, for reals. Okay, I'm starting to feel like the dude dad with his stairs, you know, having the stairs were undone forever and everyone's always asking. All right, so AC adapter's in. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna plug in to our switch, plug into our light. Now here's the other cool thing about the light. All right, okay, of course that's on, but I can stick it in this side or this side. Doesn't matter. I know some lights have it where you can only stick it on one side. And then you're like, well, you know, sometimes it makes it hard. But this one here is like very adaptable. And then, whoa. Okay, there's our dimmer. It's just a simple slide. So if we were to do these under the cabinets, they would look pretty cool. Add a lot of light under here. But you know what? I'm not gonna use these lights over here under the cabinets. Like, what? 
these under cabinet lights is a video for under cabinet lights. They are. And I've actually, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have the more traditional sized, larger metal framed under cabinet lights. I also have them from Inlight Company. Um, so I'm gonna use those in here on my next video. These ones here, I actually have a more creative place to stick them to add some very much needed light. These are, uh, have a little bit different vers versatility being their size and, and the way they're connecting. So let's, let's go check that out. Okay, so this is our, my wife's, okay, not my, my wife's closing hutch, okay? So she's got jeans stacked in here, sweater stacked in here, and you can see there's not a lot of light in here. This is the most light that our room really gets. And in the morning when she's getting ready, there's like no light. So I'm gonna light this puppy up. So I started off by pulling this regular lamp extension cord through from the backside, okay? It's just got the, the three, you know, plugs on the, on, the, on the end. And so I'll build this stick. I'm gonna use two of these kits actually, or try to use two of these kits. So I'll have power adapter on either side and then the core is running up and I'm gonna tuck it in and uh, well, we're just gonna time lapse it and make it look cool. Okay, here we are, we got the final effect here. Had enough to completely kind of like really light up these two main shelves like crazy light. So like, like that's the lowest it goes. I mean, we can light the entire room up with these. All right, now to look a little closer how I did it is I had the power adapter down below that. And then this already had the self adhesive foam tape on the little switch with the dimmer. And then I ran the first light actually on the side panel here. And rather than using those plastic clips, which are really designed for the screws, I just put the foam tape directly on these lights. Made it really easy installation for this. Uh, almost basically no tools required. So I put this one here on the face because this is gonna be stacked with clothes. I figured I'd have some light coming this way. Obviously got the connecting cables running. And then to help tighten up the cable and just make a nice seam here, I used those little, the direct connectors right here for the light in the back. Then on the right side, you know, went back on the on the side and then up front went underneath again with the direct connector with these two. We used all six per each shelf. So this is the first of many videos for the InLight lighting series. I'll also have a page on my website that's, that's just for like product reviews and how to use and additional resources all for the InLight lights. Thanks again for watching. Please share this video. Please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, check out our website. Just view it. There's so much there. And there's another video for you to check out as well. You guys have a great one.